In the shadows of the financial world, there exists a number so powerful it can open doors to wealth or slam them shut in your face. It's whispered about in banks, debated in boardrooms, and feared in households across the nation. This number? Your credit score. But what if I told you that this mysterious number isn't as enigmatic as you think? What if I said that understanding and mastering your credit score could be the key to unlocking financial opportunities you never thought possible? Welcome back, Wealth Seekers. I am the Wealth Whisperer, and today, we're pulling back the curtain on one of the most misunderstood yet crucial aspects of your financial life. Get ready, because we're about to unveil the secrets of credit scores. Now, I can almost hear the collective groan. Credit scores? Really? Could there be anything more boring? But stick with me, because what I'm about to share could be the difference between financial freedom and financial frustration. Let's start with a shocking truth. Your credit score has more power over your life than you might realize. It can determine whether you get that dream apartment, land that job you've been eyeing, or secure the loan for your startup. It's not just a number, it's a key that can unlock doors, or keep them firmly shut. So, what exactly is a credit score? Simply put, it's a three-digit number that represents your creditworthiness. Think of it as your financial report card, but instead of A's and F's, you're scored on a scale of 300 to 850. But here's where it gets interesting. Your credit score isn't just one number. It's like a shape-shifting financial specter, taking different forms depending on who's looking at it and why. The most common credit score is the FICO score, but there's also the Vantage score and various industry-specific scores. It's like having multiple personalities, but for your finances. Now, let's break down what goes into this mysterious number. 1. Payment history, 35%. Do you pay your bills on time? This is the biggest factor. 2. Credit utilization, 30%. How much of your available credit are you using? 3. Length of credit history, 15%. The longer, the better. 4. Credit mix, 10%. A variety of credit types can boost your score. 5. New credit, 10%. Opening too many new accounts too quickly can hurt your score. Here is a personal story. When I was 25, my credit score was a dismal 580. I had missed a few payments on my student loans and maxed out a credit card during a tough financial period. After being denied an apartment rental, I realized I needed to turn things around. I educated myself on the factors affecting credit scores and made a plan. I set up automatic payments for all my bills to ensure on-time payments. I also focused on paying down my credit card debt, reducing my credit utilization ratio. Additionally, I avoided opening any new credit accounts for a while. Within a year, my score had jumped to 680. By the time I was 28, it was over 750. This improvement not only helped me secure a great apartment, but also qualified me for a lower interest rate when I bought my first car. Understanding these factors and taking action made a huge difference in my financial life, opening doors that had previously been closed to me. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. But Wealth Whisperer, my credit score is a disaster. Is there any hope? I hear you. And here's the good news. Your credit score isn't set in stone. It's more like a living, breathing entity that can change and grow over time. Here are some strategies to nurture your credit score. 1. Pay your bills on time, every time. Set up automatic payments if you need to. 2. Keep your credit utilization below 30%. Using less of your available credit can boost your score. 3. Don't close old credit cards, even if you're not using them. Length of credit history matters. 4. Limit new credit applications. Each hard inquiry can ding your score. 5. Regularly check your credit report for errors. You'd be surprised how common they are. Remember, wealth seekers, a good credit score isn't built overnight. It's cultivated over time, with patience and consistent good habits. But here's the million-dollar question. What's considered a good credit score? Excellent. 800 to 850 very good, 740 to 799 good, 670 to 739 fair, 580 to 669 poor, 300 to 579 now, 
don't panic if you're not in the excellent range. The goal is progress, not perfection. Every point increase is a step towards better financial opportunities. So, wealth seekers, are you ready to unveil the power of your credit score? Ready to transform this mysterious number from a source of anxiety into a tool for financial empowerment? Remember, in the grand tapestry of wealth, your credit score is a thread that weaves through every financial decision you make. It's not just about the number, it's about the doors that number can open. This is the wealth whisperer, reminding you that true financial wisdom isn't about fearing your credit score, it's about mastering it. If this episode has demystified credit scores for you, don't keep this revelation to yourself. Share this video with someone who needs to hear it. Your share could be the whisper that changes someone's financial future. For those new to our wealth-seeking community, now is the time to join us on this journey of financial enlightenment. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single whisper of financial wisdom. To my loyal subscribers, you are the heartbeat of this channel. Your commitment to improving your financial knowledge inspires every video we create. Thank you for being here, for engaging, and for taking control of your financial narrative. Now, let's continue this conversation in the comments. Share one action you plan to take to improve or maintain your credit score. Your insight could be the spark that ignites someone else's financial transformation. Remember, in the world of wealth solo, every like, comment, and share is another step towards financial mastery. Until next time, keep listening to the whispers of wealth, and remember, your credit score isn't just a number. It's a key to unlocking the financial future you deserve.